गुड इवनिंग सर टुडे द डेट इज एट दिसंबर एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट आवर पी पी टी दवर टॉपिक इज एल आर जीरो पार्सिंग ऑन कॉम्प्लाई कॉम्पाइलर डिजाइनिंग एंड आई एम सोहेल रेजा एंड आवर माई अदर ग्रुप मेम्बर्स आर गोपाल शाह इंद्रोनील रॉय लोपा मुद्रा नाथ आई गोन स्टार्ट द पी पी टी introduction of parser the parser the parser groups tokens in two syntactic structure for example x plus y it's a syntactic structure called expression a parser takes input in the form of sequence of tokens and produce output in the form of parse tree parsing is of two types top down parsing and bottom up parsing here is the table of the derivation of parser now comes to the types of parser next slide parser is mainly classified in two categories top down parser and another was another way is um, bottom up parser these are explained as following below first of all top down parser the top down parsing is also known as recursive parsing as pre detective parsing it is used to construct a parser tree for input string in the top down parsing the parsing starts from the start symbol and transforms it into input symbol it uses leftmost derivation further top down parser top down parser is classified in two types recursive dis descent parser and non recursive descent parser the first one is recursive descent parser it is also known as brute brute force parser or with backtracking parser it basically parses tree by using brute force and backtracking the second one is non recursive descent parser it is also known as ll1 parser or predictive pre detective parser or without backtracking parser or dynamic parser it uses parsing table to generate the parser tree instead of backtracking now goes to the third slide bottom up parser it is also known as shift reduce parsing bottom up parsing is the parser which generate the parse tree for the given input string with the help of grammar producing by comp compressing the non terminals i e non terminals i e it starts from non terminals and ends on the start symbol rightmost derivation in the reverse in reverse bottom up parser is classified in two types lr parser and operate and operator uh, precedence parser the first one is lr parser lr parser is the bottom up parser which generates the parse tree for the given start given string by using unambiguous grammar it follow reverse of the rightmost derivation lr parsing is four types the first one is lr zero parsing second one l l l a l r one parsing third one s l r one parsing and the last c l r one parsing and the uh, and the second one operator produce parser it generates the parser tree from given uh, from given grammar and string a grammar is said to be operator uh, precedence parsing if it has two properties one s of any production as start symbol and non terminal the second 
two non terminals are adjacent good evening sir so my part is from major components of lr parser in lr parser consisting three parts one stack in stack all the state of the parsing or number of production described number two is action in action of a lr parser all terminal symbols are described and number three is go to in go to of a lr parser all non terminal symbols are described in lr parsing lr parsing is left to right most uh, In LR parsing, the step one is uh, augment the given number, and step two is draw the canonical collection of LR zero item. Uh, step three is number the production, and step four is create the parsing table. Step uh, step five is draw the parse tree. Uh, here the, it is given that E uh, B B B equals C B or D, uh, where the terminal is C and D, and non-terminal is E and B. Uh, to generate the string C C D D. Uh, Uh, at the very first, we need to convert the given grammar to the augmented grammar, uh, like e equals to uh, dot e, where dot means we didn't export or seen the part after dot, and e is, is equal to lr zero item. So we need to uh, put the dot right uh, to the rightmost side, uh, and e equals to dot bb, b equals to dot cb, and b equals to dot, dot d. Uh, so we need to draw a canonical collection. Uh, where uh, we uh, we give the uh, e uh, e e dash equals to dot e, so we give the e uh, to put the dot right side after e. Uh, that's the second part i one, uh, as well as e dot b b and b dot c b or dot c. Hello. Okay. So my fellow member Lupamuta has explained the canonical collection. So I'm gonna further explain how the parsing table is created from the canonical production. Okay. So uh, at first we have to number the production here. So e does equal to e, and uh, e goes to b b. That is the grammar. We have to give it the number one, and b goes to c b. That's the number two, and b goes to d. Is the number three. Uh, for pass, uh, okay. So in pass passing table, there are two parts. One is action and one is go to. So in action part, we uh, just put the terminals here, and in go to, they are uh, the non-terminals part. Okay. So for the i zero state, the c goes to i i three. That is for uh, that is why there is s three. And from I0, the D goes to I4. That is why that is written S4. And for the non-terminals here, uh, from I0, E goes to I1. That's why one is written here. And from I0, B goes to I2. That's why two is written here. OK, so for the now I1 state, there is accept written accept because in the number uh, i1 we have got the grammar that we are expecting the e dash equal to e then closer we have seen the whole grammar that's why we are just accepting it okay so in number i2 here c from i2 c goes to i3 so there we have written the history and from i2 d is going to i4 that's why we have written here S4. And from I2, capital B goes to I6. That's why we have written 6 here. And uh, it goes on for I3 also. The I th from I3, C, uh, uh, small c is going to I3. That's why it is written S3 here. And from I3, small, small d is going to 
i4 that's why it is written s4 here and from i3 capital b is going to step i6 that's why we have written 6 here okay so for i4 now for i4 we have got the final state that's why we are reducing it from i4 from i5 and i6 we have got all got the final stage that's why we are reducing here so that's why uh, the number of production will be needed here so from i4 the number was uh, the state was b goes to d so that was uh, for the number of production that was in the production number 3 so we will reduce it by production uh, r3 uh, both of them will be r3 uh, for i5 we have got e goes to bb closer so here that's the production number one e goes to bb so here we will reduce it by r1 and for the r i6 that uh, the state is uh, b tends to small c capital b that's the production number two that's why we will reduce it by r2 okay next slide please okay so here is the stack implementation. So stack implementation also um, consists of two things. One is uh, stack, uh, three things. One is stack, input, and action. From, uh, from the first thing, we are going to start stack from the initial state. That's why it is written zero, dollar, and zero. Because our first initial state is I0. OK. And in the input, there we have to write the string that we are going to generate. That is C C D D dollar. And now in action part, what is written here? Because uh, from the passing table, we have got that I0, C is going to S3. So we're going to shift C to S3. Now after shifting C to S3, that S3 is going to come to stack. And uh, it's going to change to C3. Now dollar zero C3. And the remaining part is C, D, D, dollar. And here, for the C3 part, here, for this I3, C is going to S3. So that's why we're going to shift C to S3 again. After shifting C to S3, the C is going to come here in stack. So the, the string will be Z, uh, dollar zero C3, C3. And the remaining strings are D, D, dollar. So in part uh, I3 position, the D is S4. So we're going to shift D to S4. After shifting D, uh, D to S4, the D is going to come to here to stack. So the stack will be the, the 0, C3, C3, D4. And the remaining string would be D. Now for the I4 position in D, that's going to be R3, means reducing. So you have to reduce R3, reduce R3, and here for in the production number of production, the production number three is uh, B goes to Z. So here, while we reduce it, the B is gonna re replace with the D. So here the stack would be dollar zero C3 C3 B. Now what would be the number? When we reduce it, the we are gonna see what the number we have before the string. So that's the that's zero C three C three B. We're gonna consider the three before B. So in the I three position, B is six. So that's gonna that's why we're gonna write six here. Zero C three C three B six, and the remaining string here is D. Okay. So in the six part for D, there's R two. So you have to reduce R2. And for the production rule, there it is B tends to goes to C B. So while we replace it there, we're gonna have to uh, replace whole C B to capital B because this one is the, the total one. So that's why we have the zero C three B. And here too, we're gonna consider it zero C three B. So three would be considered. So I three and in B position there is six. So there would be zero C three B six. 
and the remaining steel uh, string is still d dollar so in i6 in i6 for d we will get reduce r2 from the passing table so we'll get here reduce r2 and same b goes to cb so here in the stack we get 0 b because we are uh, replacing cb with b and uh, for the i0 position b is 2 that's why we are getting 0 b2 and the remaining string is d dollar now for the b i2 position b is d is uh, s4 so we're gonna have to shift the d to s4 now after shifting the remaining stack is 0 b to d4 and the remaining input string is only dollar so for the i4 position dollar is r3 so you're gonna have to reduce it again reduce r3 to b goes to z d after uh, there we have to uh, in stack we have to reduce uh, replace the d with b so we uh, take here zero b2 uh, capital b and for reducing we're gonna have to two uh, consider the two second position b is there's five so here zero b to b5 and there will be string that dollar and for the fifth position i5 we get r1 that is reduce r1 that is e goes to b b and here in the stack we you know, after replacing that b b to e we get 0 e and uh, for 0 i 0 the e is for 1 that is what is, it is this is 0 e 1 and the remaining string is dollar but in the i 1 for dollar it is accept so we are accepting this the string is being accepted now after accepting uh, the total uh, stack implementation there we generate the parsing tree from the canonical and uh, grammars and uh, uh, ccdd string dollar string is being generated next slide please okay so clr clr one parsing clr refers to canonical look ahead clr parsing used the canonical collection of lr1 items to build a clr1 parsing table clr1 parsing table produces the more number of states as compared to the slr parsing slr1 parsing in the clr1 parsing we place the reduce node only in the look ahead symbols various states involved in the clr1 parsing those states are like uh, for one number one for the given input string, write a context-free grammar. Number two, check the ambiguity of the grammar. Number three, add augmented production in the given grammar. Number four, create canonical collection of LR0 items. Number five, draw a data flow diagram. And number six, construct a CLR parsing table. Okay, for LR1 items, LR1 item is a collection of LR0 items and a look-ahead symbol. So, the LR1 items are actually LR0 item plus look ahead. The look ahead is used to determine that where we place the final conclusion. Okay, so hello. For the conclusion part, uh, LR parser is one type of bottom up parsing. Among them, LR0 is the simplest and the least powerful class. The difference between LL and LR pars parsing is the parsing table for. Uh, SLR and for uh, class passing algorithm, input buffer and stack formation remains the same. In order to construct the passing table of LR0, we need to use a canonical collection of LR0 items. Okay, thank Hello. you. Very good. Okay, thank you. Very good presentation. Thank you, sir. Very good presentation. You have good. tried it. Thank, thank you, Lupabudra, Shoyan, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, okay. you. thank you very much. Well. Thank you, sir.